McMichael, the court sentences you as follows. Count one, malice murder, life without the possibility of parole. Count two, felony murder, is vacated by operation of law. Count three, felony murder, vacated by operation of law. Count four, felony murder, vacated by operation of law. Well, those are the three Georgia men convicted of killing Ahmad Arbery. All of them handed life sentences, two without the possibility of parole. Well, it's a sentence that's used in states across the country. Now, a Washington bill working its way through the legislature would make it easier for some of the state's violent criminals to ask for parole. Victims advocates say the bill goes way too far and would harm families. But supporters believe this bill would put fairness back in the sentencing structure. Vanessa Perez here in studio and spoke to people on both sides of the aisle. Right now, inmates sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole have no chance of getting out. The proposed bill would allow an inmate to request parole after they've served 15, 20, or 25 years of their sentence, depending on the conviction. While supporters believe it's a step in the right direction, opponents say it'll do damage. Met with Gary Ridgway face to face, and he did say to me that if he were to get out, he would do this again. That's why Graham doesn't want to see Senate Bill 5036 get passed. Her sister was murdered by Green River killer Gary Ridgway at just 15 years old. Ridgway admitted to killing 49 people. Although this wouldn't allow him to get the possibility of parole, it's the countless of other killers that could. We have a responsibility to do better in, in this department, especially when the numbers are rising. We're going in the wrong direction. I don't think we have to be mean. I don't think we have to be cruel. But I do think that, you know, we need to set those healthy boundaries. Supporters of the bill say it reduces the jail and prison population and also reduces the disproportionate impact on minority populations. Gerald Hankerson says he was sentenced to life without parole for aggravated murder. He was later found innocent. Really creating a process for someone that's been incarcerated and given the opportunity after 20 years, two decades, to apply for relief based on what they've done and what they've been a part of. Redemption is what it's about. Um it also puts an emphasis on rehabilitation. I absolutely believe in rehabilitation, but above all, I will always put our families, businesses, neighborhoods, and communities number one. That comes first. It would give people a second chance, but only at the discretion of the clemency board, which would be expanded from five people to 10. It's making sure the community at large has a seat at the table as well. And who else best to say that I come back to the community than the community itself? So the victims does have a part in this process, so the victim advocates. This bill died in committee last session. There's a public hearing on Thursday. Reporting in the studio, Vanessa Perez, 4 News Now.